Well, hello again, my animation lovers! It's me, D, and you're on the D Animations channel. And today I would like to tell you about the wonderful YouTube project called Vampire. Specifically about series of musical animated clips created by almost one person, independent animator Daria Cohen. But in later projects she was already helped with sound, backgrounds and sometimes animation syncing, and you can see this in the credits. But still, her project is has beautiful smooth animation, sharp at the right moments and smooth at the right moments, memorable characters and catchy songs. What more do you need for happiness? And it just so happens that the creator of this web animated series finished the first season, which prompted me to tell you about it. Even though this project is already a couple of years old, so I think those who already know about it will be interested and for those who don't know, let me tell you about it and open the door to another interesting animated series that will brighten up your weekdays. So be sure to like, subscribe and subscribe again! <laughs> So, Vampire is a wonderful series that tells us a story about a couple of vampires and their strange relationship. How they love each other in one moment and then try to kill each other in a bloody farce, and then resurrect each other to invite to a ball, and then kill each other again. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. And what's funny is that the series literally translates as Vampire Pair. Like, the names are merged from two English words, Vamp and Pair, so it turns out to be a Vampire Pair. Yeah, big brain moment here. So, everything gets twisted when a girl named Melissa somehow wanders into Dukes the Vampire's mansion. Subsequently, she becomes a vampire herself, and that's when everything gets twisted. And currently there are officially 7 episodes, which we will discuss a little bit later. And I'll put every single episode in chronological order in the description below, so you can watch them if you like. Plus a couple of, well, let's say, not quite episodes. For example, deleted animations, or episode 3.5, which is less than a minute long, but it's not the main episode. And, of course, speed paints, which Daria sometimes does periodically because YouTube is a dirty creature, yeah. Well, the thing is, if you don't release a video for too long, your views will be forever plummet. In such web series, you cannot ignore the author of this work, Daria Cohen. She essentially an independent animator who, it seems, graduated from design and engineering school in 2016 and also, it seems, works and participates in some scenes of Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss, animated a couple of clips, and more precisely, a certain part of them. So the first episode of Vampire, specifically The Night, was your graduation project for university. Well, you know, to demonstrate what you've learned in practice and so and so on. And every animator goes through this kind of practice, as far as I know. And since I didn't study anywhere and I made it purely based on YouTube tutorials, Pearl series is my practice to improve my skills with uh, each and every episode. Daria herself then decided not to finish everything with just one clip, but to create a whole franchise with lots and lots of seasons and episodes. So maybe the episodes don't come out as often as we would like, but I'm sure that in the future Daria will delight us with many more episodes. However, if she doesn't find a couple of more animators to help her, we will have to wait another six months. But at least the first season is officially finished, and you can enjoy it by yourselves. Moreover, it's a quite short and won't take you more than 30 minutes. And all this beautiful and flexible animation was done in Adobe Animate. And by the way, that's partly why I decided to use this program for animations. The character design is very memorable, and fans even do small theatrical performances with cosplay of the characters. The movements are always very precise, sometimes it's even more professional than in studio projects. Now let's take a look at these episodes themselves and briefly discuss them. The first episode is The Night, tells us a story of a young girl named Melissa who somehow ends up in the mansion of the vampire called Duke, uh, who then chases Melissa throughout the episode trying to, well, well, you know, I might get banned for using this word, so yeah. She outsmarts the vampire creature, Melissa burns Duke in the sunlight, but then the vampirism curse is transferred to her not through a bite, as usual, but through the touching Duke's cursed staff, which grants her numerous abilities, including fire spells, creating life and objects, various magical shots from the staff, and of course, uh, the curse of vampirism uh, with which Melissa is cursed. And after this, it will be immediately noticeable how the curse has affected the girl's mind. She no longer remains a young student girl who survived by chance, but transforms into a true gothic vampire who knows her worth and looks simply amazing. Essentially, uh, this is her second personality, who came up with a new name for herself, Missy. The vampire Duke is quite an interesting character himself. Well, let's start with the fact that he didn't start the story as a vampire, as usual. The Duke of Vampires was peacefully living in his mansion until Melissa intruded. So, I won't blame him for chasing after the intruder who broke into his private property. And unlike Missy, who became a vampire, 
Duke seems to be a firstborn. He doesn't turn back into a human if he leaves the staff for a long time, or he is already so strongly affected by the curse that he has permanently became a vampire and will never turn back into human. And the first episode received a huge applause, which motivated Daria to continue her project. And the second episode is about the lands of the dead, which tells us a story of how Duke parties in the hell after his death. And apparently he really enjoys living there more than in the world of the living. He is respected there, and various creatures serve him. Moreover, for Duke, Hell is designed in a Greek style, with various accompanying patterns, gargons, cerberuses, centaurs and hydras. And even Daria herself created artworks imagining how Missy would look like if she were in that Hell, and she looks absolutely stunning. And next there's a deleted animatic that explains how Missy prepared for Duke's resurrection. In the official third episode this actually happens, and it becomes clear from the appearance of Missy's back, which she threw away in the first episode, that is a considerable amount of time has passed. And it's also evident that Missy resurrected Duke simply to torment and kick him out of the house. And by the way, in this episode there are hints that Duke is trying to behave like a wicked vampire because he wants to resemble his father and theoretically the famous Count Dracula. In the unofficial 3.5 episode, it is explained what Duke does immediately after being kicked out of the house. And the fourth episode, The Silent, will tell us how Missy literally loses her mind and, in a fit of an insanity, throws away her staff, becoming human again and preparing to leave the mansion. But her anger towards the Duke is so strong that she takes up the staff again and becomes a vampire. After this episode, it becomes clear that Melissa and Missy are two different personalities. And however, because Missy already exists, she doesn't simply let go of Melissa. And at the same time, Missy herself goes insane. In the fifth episode, which seems to be done for fun, Duke entertains himself with a <coughs> uh, promiscuous zombie girl. Yeah. Uh, moving on. The sixth episode is my favorite, where Daria delights us with the highest level of animation, as our vampire couple flexes to an enticing song. The animation, camera angles, fluidity and the speed are just… oh my, this is just amazing. Eventually they will definitely try to poison each other and then chop each other up, resulting in each losing a body part. And now we've come to season finale, the seventh episode Stuck With You is the most controversial in my opinion. Throughout this music video they sing about how much they hate each other and what terrible partners they are. As it can be seen, for some reason even after they try to chop each other up and hate each other, they continue living together after the sixth episode. And they continue to annoy each other, but towards the end they somehow seem to have fallen in love with each other and well… How? I, I honestly don't know. Perhaps I'm just a lousy romantic. Maybe the rule that love and hate are just one step apart applies here. Well, who knows? Well, also, if each of them goes insane as a vampire, they have to become each other's salvation, essentially. Although it is still unclear why Melissa simply doesn't let go of the staff and become human again. But I think Missy doesn't allow her to do this. And as I've said before, there are essentially two different personalities in her. Yeah, that, that's the difficulties. But what do you think about this animated series? In my opinion, it is simply a fantastic work that inspires people, and at least me, to believe that even alone you can create a great project that won't be inferior in quality to many works made in the studios. And it's really unfortunate that this series follows the fate of many similar music projects. Specifically, Daria won't receive any money from the video because the songs are not hers. They are taken from other music videos and performances. But personally, I'm still happy to see such a project. And like many others, Daria's web projects motivate people. For example, I remember starting to learn Flash or Adobe Animate when I found out that the first episode of Vampires was made using this program. And even if I made mistakes during this video or maybe missed something or didn't understand something, I apologize for this and I ask you guys to point out this in the comments. Well, nevertheless, I'm incredibly happy to see such projects. And there's already a second season of Vampires! I just found out recently and purely by chance! The curse of YouTube algorithm did notify me for six months that Daria was releasing new content. It's such a mess. I'm, I'm her target audience here. I like what she does. And the platform on which the project is released purposely doesn't inform me about new releases. Yeah, that's how the authors live on the internet. Wonderful, right? Well, it's just amazing. Well, since I found out about the new episodes during the creation of this video, let's take a brief look at them. So, when the first season finale came out, specifically the episode called Stuck With You, it felt like the end of a real long period, in which we followed Duke and Missy's relationship for 7 years. Yeah, the first video was released a long, long time ago. 
The finale felt really special. Even though they continue to argue and tease each other, it all turns into their own special relationship. And personally, I still find it hilariously entertaining to watch their mutual jokes, and from the outside, it seems like there should be no sympathy between them. But as you can see on the screen, after all the fights, they lie tired in the coffins. I see how they were able to have their first heartfelt conversation and share a simple truth. It's good that I'm not alone. And right away, between characters who I only saw as enemies, real romantic relationship develop, which surprisingly brings me a great joy to observe. And I must say, it is incredibly difficult to get me interested in romance, but Daria's work is truly an exception. So Daria, if you're seeing this, you're simply talented. To capture the interest of someone who doesn't like romance, well, it's just really amazing. And however, let's not forget that some people didn't enjoy the finale as much. And here, completely without notifying me, thanks to YouTube, the second season came out, which already has three episodes. And unlike the first one, it doesn't stand out with the same catchy songs as before. Although it's purely a matter of taste, and you should listen to me about it. How however, the second season seems much more serious and emotional. After all, almost all three episodes so far tell us about Duke, about his backstory, complicated relationship with his father, and the loss of his mother. And the second episode, Raised by Bats, feels like the essence and the spirit of this whole series, showing Duke's inner world and his personal relationship with society and the community around him in a vibrant and emotional way. And it will also deeply resonate emotionally and spiritually with various subcultures. Seeing Duke and Missy together in this episode is so adorable that it feels like this is how series should have been from the beginning. And the moment when he hugs her closer to himself is just, oh my god, I'm so thrilled. Well, the last third episode immerses us again in Duke's past, delving into his personal experiences of losing his mother and how these emotions and thoughts haunt him every day. In the traditions of such web series, uh, we see various flashbacks of Duke's life, probably under the pressure of his father and many other things typical of aristocratic families. And of course, with the second season, many of my previous theories fly away. <laughs> yeah, here I see his father wasn't a vampire, and the second episode showed us how Duke became one. Well, mistakes happen to everyone. But either way, this project about the amusing relationship between vampires has always seemed and will continue to seem very interesting to me and a splendid example of web cartoons. The style, the songs, on which the music videos are based on, the designs and the interesting aspects for both an emotional and stylistic point of view. If you'd like to add something to my thoughts and emotions, well, feel free to write them down in the comments. And I will continue to wait for new animations from Daria. And maybe one day there will be another collaboration like the one with the When You're Evil, where Daria brought together 48 animators to celebrate reaching 666,000 subscribers on the channel and they created a fantastic music video. And by the way, I also applied back then. Well, maybe my skills were not as good as they are now, so I didn't get a response. Well, it happens. Anyway, check out the channel, there's a lot more about cartoons. So, thank you, and I see you, as always, in the next one.